Meet patron member Shiny Bee. She has the unfortunate luck of being here at the start of the zombie apocalypse on Project Zomboid. She is a burglar and she has the negative traits of being a smoker and a slow reader. But being a burglar means that Shiny is going to be able to hot wire a vehicle should she come across one. We've spawned in on Moldra and it looks like we've started in the trailer park which is not the best place to be. But these are the cards that Shiny has been dealt so she's just going to have to deal with it. Over the next 28 days I hope to be able to get Shiny to a position where she's self-sufficient and can defend some sort of base location. And it doesn't look like there's much of use in this first trailer. Looks like things are reasonably clear for the moment. Let's just check out this vehicle. Well, it appears the boot is open. And we've got ourselves a first aid kit. That could come in handy. Okay, let's just head on round. Looks like we've got our first zombie of the day. And Shiny hasn't actually got a weapon at the moment, so she's going to have to do this one with her bare hands. One on one, we should be okay. There we go, just push him over. Stamp on his head. Now, mm, nothing of value on this zombie. I'm really looking for a watch on one of the zombies if I can. Mm, nothing in here. Just hoping to find a knife or a pot or a pan. Seems like we've got a few zombies around the side of that window, so let's just leave them over there. Check in here. Okay, a meat cleaver and a kitchen knife. So we've got some sort of weapon to defend ourselves with. Cooking pot, that would be useful. Not too fussed about food at the moment. Food at this stage in the game is not really going to be a problem. At the start, we do have power and water and guess we'll take this padded jacket it's more of a winter jacket this one and I think this is probably the middle of summer and well, it looks like we've got one in the bathroom here maybe you have a watch that we can have let's just dispose of this one a watch no but some military boots they will definitely come in handy much better than using our shoes. The slightest thing in Project Zomboid can get you killed, even the littlest of scratches, so all the armor we can get we'll take. We'll also grab this garbage bag here as well. Haven't got anything to carry stuff in at the moment. And it's actually relatively quiet around these trailers. And now I've got a good idea of where we are outside the Waits Motel. Yeah, nothing in here. Some pens, paper clips. I guess we'll check up on some of these rooms. We're going to need some water. Need to find a water bottle. And yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of zombies inside these hotel rooms. This one seems quiet though. Don't expect to find much in here, but we will grab a quick drink before we move on. Now, because we're at the start of this apocalypse, the water is still running, but eventually the power will go off and the water. And as time moves on, things get considerably harder. Now, I was planning to move south from here, but it looks quite busy that way. So I think we'll head north instead. Let's just get rid of this. Have you got a watch that we can use? Um, no. And um, nothing much on you that we can grab. Okay. I'll just remove this glass. Got to remove the glass from shattered windows, otherwise we'll end up cutting ourselves. Just looks like the one zombie in here to deal with. And what have we got in here? A denim shirt. It's going to be better than what we're wearing. Give us some resistance against scratches and bites. Not much. Uh, a frying pan. I guess we'll equip that on our back. It's not got much left on it, but knives and stabbing weapons tend to wear down pretty quickly. 
Another denim shirt. Okay, let's just move on. Um, looks like we've got an easy kill just here. Hasn't noticed us. I know that you have. I saw you. Let's just stamp on this one. Try and save our knife a little bit. Again, no watches. Now, Shiny is a smoker, so I'm hoping to come across some cigarettes as well. Oh, looks like quite the party's been going on in this trailer. Let's just come through here. Wow, okay, well, I'm sure one of these are going to have a watch on them. Let's just get rid of you first. Quite a few dead bodies in here. And there we go. So we got a watch, and yeah, I see it. Oh. So the crawler just grabbed us, tried to grab us there. So we've got ourselves a watch. Now we can see what time it is. So we're at 10 past 12 in the afternoon and it's currently 70 degrees outside. So pretty hot in the middle of summer. So this padded jacket is definitely going to be too warm. I um, don't think there's anything else there. Some marshmallows, I guess. Shiny hasn't had anything to eat yet, so we'll eat those and keep us going a little bit. Now, I want to get away from this trailer park, really. We don't want to be spending the night anywhere around here. Uh, a sewing kit. Grab a needle and thread. That could be useful. Probably not straight away, but it's not too much to carry. And we've attracted some attention there. Zombies can see you through windows. It's always best to try and block them if you're spending some time in a building. We'll just leave them banging on them windows. Oh, a shovel and a metal pipe. That's great. That's two good weapons that we can use there. Okay. I'm a fan of the metal pipes and long blunt weapons. Okay. Yeah, I heard ya. Point in playing the scare music for me. And looks like we've got a fanny pack. Well, that's something to wear. Of course, this game was set in the 90s when they were all the fashion. Well, and a satchel. Fantastic. Got some sort of backpack now. Yeah, Project Zomboid is set in the good old 90s great time to have grown up and I think we'll just get out of here so trailer park is proving to be pretty quiet at the moment let's just take a second to put some of this stuff away we're currently not encumbered but can we get a shovel in the back yep shovel fits in there so one on one not really too fast. Zombies are not too much of a problem one on one. But in numbers, they really can swarm you quickly. And um, I saw you. Yeah, we currently need a drink of water. And we are pretty hot. Looks like it's approaching 80 degrees. So the padded jacket's probably not the best thing to be wearing right now. Just check in here. Found some reasonably useful stuff around the trailers so far. It's not been too bad. So what we've got here looks like another sewing kit. We'll grab the scissors. And not too much to carry. Uh, first aid volume one. Yeah, not too fussed about learning first aid at the moment. It's definitely one of the more difficult things to level up. And we'll go out the back way just here. Seems like we've attracted a few of them on that door. It won't take them long to get through there. So we'll just head up from here. And this looks like the community park area. Relatively quiet. I think we'll just take this dirt track and I guess from here, I'm going to head up towards the small house with the fence around it. 
We'll see what that section looks like. Heading south looked a little bit crowded, so we're going to head up in the northerly direction. So just run past here. Now, running is something that's going to get you killed quite quick if you do too much of it. Eventually, you do run out of breath and it slows you down. So quite often, it's better to walk around zombies than run. But looks like there's quite a few of them here. So I'm just going to run past and we're not too far away from that little house. If we just get to the bottom of this road here, we can cut through the woods and hopefully lose the ones that are behind us right now. And just at the end of this pathway. Yeah, I'll we'll just cut across this fence here. Okay, so I've got quite the train of zombies behind us. It looks a little bit crowded around here, so I don't think we can really scavenge these houses. Let's just check here. Oh, how to use generators. Now, that book, since Build 41 has come along, has been really difficult to actually find. I've had a few playthroughs on this recently and just not been able to find that magazine. So that was a stroke of luck. This was the house I was planning to head to, but I've got at least a dozen zombies following me and I'm going to have to lose them. So we're going to have to forget that plan. Okay. Managed to get rid of these. I think we might be able to get inside this little house here. At least we can try to. Oh, well, there's definitely one inside. And it looks like this window is unlocked. Let's try around the other side. Okay, there's a couple at the window there. So there's at least three in that building. So I think we'll forget that one. Shiny's currently out of breath. And as you can see, once that happens, it becomes increasingly difficult to be able to take out zombies. Okay, this one has got a hard hat. So I'm going to grab that. That will definitely offer some good head protection. And some cigarettes. We will grab them. Unfortunately, we've got no lighter though. So it's just going to be a bit of a tease for Shiny there. Cigarettes, but no lighter. Okay, let's just check out in here. Those of you familiar with the game will know this house as being the one with the CDDA challenge. Where you start off with the house on fire and you've fallen out of the shower, cut yourself, you've also got a cold, and you're also drunk. So a notorious difficult start in this house, usually speaking. Okay, well there's definitely one zombie at least in this house with us. Looks like it's behind this door here. Okay, I was ready for you. Just get rid of this. I will take the jeans that this zombie is wearing it will offer us a little bit more protection but it is getting late and we don't want to be out after dark so I think from here I'm gonna to head towards the farmhouse which is just north of our position and hold up there for the night okay well we've reached the farm before it's got dark currently 85 degrees at the moment so pretty hot we need to get rid of this puffer jacket and generally speaking, the farmhouses in Project Zomboid are a good place to base yourself. And this one here in Moldra is actually not too far away from the main town. Okay, just check this last room out. So yeah, it looks like this whole house is pretty clear. And it's now eight o'clock in the evening. We're getting pretty tired. But... I think we'll be able to get our heads down for the evening. We'll just condense all of our inventory and just shove this in the fridge, I guess. Let's see what else we found. I've got a couple of books to read. There's another one here, Cooking Volume 1. And, oh, looks like we got a dance move, a salsa. It's one of the mods that we have. Okay, so we'll get ourselves a night's sleep for the evening. Just close this door behind us. I think we should be pretty safe. 
And of course, we've learned ourselves a new da dance move. Now, if this was Fortnite, this would have cost you £7.50, but of course, this one's available on the Steam Workshop. I have got a couple of mods listed, and uh, I'll put them in the link in the video down below if anyone's interested in what mods we are running. So, managed to get a relatively good night's sleep. We're pretty frustrated at the moment as we've not had a cigarette. We've got the cigarettes, but we haven't got a lighter as of yet. So I'm just going to head back down to where we was yesterday and continue clearing out some of them houses down there. Hopefully some of the zombies have moved on. Okay, let's just check this house out here. Oh, okay. It's the thing with Zomboid, you've always got to try and watch your back. You don't actually have eyes in the back of your head. Uh, electricity for beginners and intermediate, we'll take that, as well as the fishing volume one. Don't plan to do too much fishing, I don't think, early on, but electronics is always a good book to find. And if you end up reading the books, you do get an XP boost. A considerable XP boost. Looks like this individual took the easy road out. They've got a, a gun and some ammunition, but that's pretty much a death sentence if we take that gun and we end up firing that at the moment. We'll just bring everything to our location, so I'm going to leave that. Okay, and I can see a few bottles on the table here. Finally, I can actually get a bottle to hold some water in. And some more cigarettes, just to tease us, but no lighter. Let's grab one of these empty bottles and get ourselves some water, finally. There we go. We'll just fill that up. And just check this bookshelf, see if there's anything here. Metal working, volume one. I guess we'll take that. And, of course, a copy of Street Fighter 2 on the Genesis. We're over in the UK, it was the Mega Drive. It's another mod that we've got on here. And I'm just going to cross out some of these buildings so I know which ones that I've searched. So we did them ones yesterday. Okay, let's just head on over in this direction. See what else we can find. Okay, there's quite a few there. Just taking them on one at a time. The best way to go. Again, more cigarettes, but no lighter. Really is. Who carries cigarettes without a lighter? I mean, come on, come on. <laughs> it's like another easy kill just here. We'll just sneak up on this one while you're not looking. Now coming through the back here. Okay, that's not good. That's going to bring every zombie in the immediate area towards us, so we're going to have to get out of here. So, I think this area is going to be pretty much a write-off, but of course, it's going to draw everything towards that building, which means other buildings are going to be a little less crowded. But for now, I'm going to head back through the woods and head back to base. Sounds like something is around the back door here. Let's check out what we have. Hey, stop banging on my door. So, you do get the odd visitor here. As you can see. Oh, somebody else sneaking up behind. And, oh, hey, there's quite a few of them heading this way. Okay. You can always stand on top of one of the zombies, stop them getting up, and you just really want to take your time. Okay. So, oh, matches! Finally, we can have a cigarette. 
There you go, shiny. You've earned yourself a cigarette. Finally, somebody had some matches on them. So, this is going to reduce shiny's stress a little bit. Again, still wearing this puffer jacket. Could do with something else. Uh, looks like we got ourselves a little crowd just gathering around in our garden. Just one at a time. So, this one has a leather jacket, which is going to be much better. It's a long leather jacket as well, offers a lot more protection. Still pretty hot to be wearing a leather jacket though. Before I call it a night, there is actually a little house just beyond the woods here that has a TV in it, so just going to sit down for a second because Shiny's a little bit exhausted and do have some vitamins that will give us a little bit of an energy boost as we're feeling tired. I'm going to head out towards this little house at the back here and bring ourselves a TV back. Okay, just come through here. So we've got an antique telly and we're just in time for life and living at six o'clock. Now, the TV in the first couple of weeks is a good way to get some levels and skills. And there we go. Just turn that up and see what show we've got on at the moment. Hopefully find something else of use in here, but mainly come out here just to get ourselves a TV. Uh, we'll take all of this stuff back, I suppose, the canned stuff. Not going to need it for a while, but um, looks like we've got farming as the TV program on. Okay, just get ourselves this level in farming and we'll carry the TV back to our farmhouse. There we go. So we've managed to get one point in farming. That's uh, a good show to have caught there. TV tends to come on at 6 a.m., 12 p.m., 6 p.m. There's also one at midnight, but that's quite often just an advert. But if you're near a TV, in the first couple of weeks of Zomboid, it's always worthwhile getting them free levels. Okay, we'll just shove the TV just under the window there. Now we've got a way of leveling up some of the skills that we get on TV. And we could do with getting some more sheets, really, and covering up these windows. So I think we'll finish off the day by reading some of Carpentry Volume 1. It's definitely a good book to start reading. And we're going to leave it here on the end of Day 2 with Shiny B. We will be back with more of our 28 Days Later Challenge. And I think now is as good a time as any to get into Project Zomboid. We've built 42 round the corner. There's going to be a whole new list of things to craft. And of course, they're going to be introducing farm animals into the game as well. So really have been enjoying Project Zomboid. And it's a game that I've been following for a very long time now. In fact, I actually had a previous YouTube channel that was based all on Project Zomboid several years ago. But uh, I'm pleased to be bringing it back to this channel and I hope you're enjoying this one. I'm going to be coming back with, of course, guides on Project Zomboid as well. But I hope you've enjoyed this one as an introduction. Let me know in the comments what you thought down below. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.